Thank you for your service, Madam Chair. Thank you. I, I think I read the last couple of days that first quarter growth, <clears throat> excuse me, had been readjusted to 1.4 percent. Does that right. sound right? Yes. Yeah. And if you had unfettered discussion, what would you do to improve on that? Well, um, growth is variable from quarter to quarter, and we expect significantly stronger growth um, in the second quarter. So. Um, I would certainly, in looking at the performance of the economy, smooth through the volatility. But doing that, we have an economy that has grown over the last number of years by about 2% per year. And 2% has been sufficient to create a very large number of jobs and a tighter labor market. Um, of course, it's good to have more jobs in a tighter labor market. But the fact that that could be accomplished with 2 percent um, economic growth points to um, what is very disappointing, namely the potential of the U.S. economy to grow um, is very low. Um, most, uh, I believe, CBO in our committee estimates that, estimates that the economy's longer, potential, longer run potential to grow is currently under 2%. Okay, but, and, but, but my question, Madam Chair, I apologize for interrupting. Um, my question is, um, if you had unfettered discretion and we're averaging 2% growth and you wanted to get as close to 3% as you could, which was considered would be considered normal before 2008, if you had unfettered discretion, what would you do? Well, this is really not a job for the Federal Reserve. It's a job for Congress and the administration. No, I'm asking for your and advice. I would. My advice would be to focus on all of those factors that determine productivity growth, and that pertains to tax reform and the efficiency with which the economy operates. Um, I would focus on um, training, on education, the quality of uh, human capital in this mm -hmm. economy. I would focus on investment, both public and private. I would focus on policies that impact the pace of technological change and research and development. And there are a wide range of policies that bear on everything in my list. And so it's that set of um, that set of channels that I think is uh, important in boosting the economy's potential to grow. Okay. Did we make a mistake moving away from Glass Steagall? I don't believe that Glass Steagall was responsible for the financial crisis. So um, I don't I don't see that as a as a major. Um, issue that um, was responsible for for the for the di financial difficulties did 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 our move away from it contribute at all or was, was it just irrelevant in your judgment well look the largest distress was suffered at standalone investment banks mm -hmm. like Bear Stearns and Lehman um, that um, you know there was a product of Glass-Steagall. The fact that those investment banks are now all major investment banks are part of uh, bank holding companies and subject to stronger capital regulation is uh, an important safeguard. Okay. Has the Volcker rule worked? Um, the Volcker Rule was designed to um, stop proprietary trading and banking organizations. That's a goal with which I agree, and um, it was intended to permit market making. Um, the implementation of it has been very complex and burdensome. We've suggested that community banks be exempt from it entirely. And Should, um, should we get rid of it? Uh, I, I, wouldn't get I wouldn't get rid of it. I think the, um, and I believe the Treasury uh, report suggests um, maintaining 
uh, the restriction on proprietary trading in depository institutions. So um, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't get rid of it, but I would look for ways to simplify it. Okay. Last question, quickly. Um, would you accept a reappointment? Excuse me? Would you accept a reappointment as chair? So it's something that I really don't um, have anything to say about at this time. I'm really focused on carrying out the responsibilities that Congress has assigned to us and um, haven't, haven't really um, decided that issue. Thank you for your service, Madam Chair. Thank you.